the WWE is about to become a whole new beast. While it's not 100% done and dusted, it does seem very likely that SmackDown is going to go to Fox, which if you don't know is a massive channel in America, for the sum of around $1 billion over the next five years. Throw in that the USA Network is also going to pay a similar sum for Raw, and my word, what a crazy world we're about to enter. Given where it's headed, the cash and the potential of all this too, SmackDown basically just killed the WWE Network. Why? Here's why. Now when I say kill, I'm overdoing it a bit, but that's on purpose. Obviously, we're not going to wake up tomorrow and have a press release from WWE saying, well, we just decided to can this thing we plowed millions of dollars into, because who cares? That ain't going to happen. And if it did, we'd all really be annoyed. We're wrestling nerds. We're wrestling geeks. We love the fact we have a subscription service where if you want to watch a random Raw from July 1999, you can. For as much as we moan, we do love to have access to all that content, so it can't go away. That would be a really stupid move. However, the lay of the land has now drastically changed. When the WWE Network was first launched, it was done so because WWE wanted to take control of their own destiny. They wanted to move away from television because everyone said television was dying. Yeah, they wanted to be able to do whatever they want. And what better way to do that than to have basically your own damn network. Now, all of this didn't really go to plan, or at least it didn't meet the expectations that Vince McMahon wanted. At one point, the rumor was around this time, they wanted to have more than 2 million subscribers. Let me tell you this, they do not have more than 2 million subscribers. Now, that doesn't mean in the future it can't continue to get bigger and bigger and eventually live up to where the W want it to be, but right now, it ain't doing that, and it's cool, but it's not ticking all the boxes. Amazingly, though, as mentioned, while the internet continued to predict the death of TV, what actually happened is that networks decided, look, what we really need is shows that have a built-in audience and we can rely on. And you know who has those kind of shows? It's WWE. While audience and ratings may be down, they're still able to pull two to three million people in every week, and that ain't that bad a number. So instead of moving away from TV, all of a sudden Raw and SmackDown are actually more important than the network, and they're more important than pay-per-views. They'll be making more money than anything you could see behind the paywall, which means you have to focus on these. These have to become your priority, because not only do you have massive partners to appease, again, you're making loads of cash, and it's all about cash. And that goes for double when we are talking about SmackDown, because SmackDown is going to Fox, and Fox has a big, a big deal. A big deal to the point that words just went blah, 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 as I tried to say them. While Raw will of course still be a beast, the fact of the matter is now when it comes to SmackDown, there is a larger potential for growth there because it is on Fox and Fox is in more homes. Now, not only does that open the argument about whether or not SmackDown is going to become the A show, but it also means you're going to get a drastically different experience when it does indeed come to the network. After all, if we're trying to grow fans and appease people that have literally plowed billions into your company, are we going to focus on putting big matches behind the network on pay-per-views? Of course we're not. We're going to focus on SmackDown that's front and center, that's making load of money and all the big matches, world title matches, ladder matches, I don't know, Hell in a Cell matches, Inferno matches, they're going to be on TV for free. This utterly changes what the network is for and who saw that coming? It was supposed to be a great new dawn, this whole new like lay of the land for the wrestling industry, but instead that came from the most traditional of sources, television. And I don't care who you are, I don't think anybody saw that coming and if you did, you should get into the fortune teller game because you're about to make an absolute mint. I wouldn't be surprised if all the major stars eventually do get migrated across to SmackDown as well. And yeah, I bet all our blow-offs or end of stories actually do start happening on television, because you cannot put it on the network now. Who are you trying to appease? The hardcore fans like me? I'm going to watch anyway, because I'm a fool. But I cannot see how we now go back to that model when you've got someone paying you so much, you're about to enter the most profitable time in your own history. That would be madness and it changes everything. It's like if all of a sudden someone walks along and says, Simon, I'm going to pay you seven bajillion dollars if you do all these videos and every time you say a word, you've got to move around the screen. So every time I say a word, I move around the screen. I'm going to do it if someone wants to pay me that insane amount of cash. But I will say it is a shame in one way because the network never really did what I hoped it was going to do. It was awesome to get all the pay-per-views, especially the big four, at such a cheap price. But I don't know, after a while, 
kind of just there. And who knows, maybe that changes too. If Fox is willing to pay $205 million a year for SmackDown, why couldn't someone else, a different broadcaster, when the early part of the year comes around, sit down with WWE and say, look, we'll pay you, I don't know, $20 million to put WrestleMania on television. You wouldn't have thought that before, but we wouldn't have thought this with the TV deals. So anything's up for grabs now, and maybe they just put WrestleMania on, I don't know, ITV if you live in the UK. WrestleMania's gonna be on ITV. That ain't ever gonna happen, but we see. And are they gonna say no? Of course they're not. WWE is a publicly traded company, which means really, they just wanna make their stockholders very happy. It's a crazy time, all things considered, especially when you remember a few years ago, SmackDown was a tape show that nobody cared about. In fact, mostly, they just reran Raw angles and didn't even mention that after the fact. It's like, you wanna watch SmackDown, whatever, we don't care. We don't care about the blue bread. And yet here in 2018 or 2019, when the deal actually starts, it will be 100% crucial to what WWE is doing and how much cash is coming through the door. How did that happen? And why did that happen? And what do we do next? And who knows what's gonna happen in 2024 or whatever it ends. And when you think about it like that, how on earth can you actually prioritize the network? You can't, it's too much of a risk. And what do you gain from it? The answer, not a lot. And all this could of course go in a vastly different direction. We never know what the future is gonna bring, but I would imagine this is what WWE is thinking. And if I was in WWE, I would be thinking or at least hoping the same thing too. And it's kind of scary in one way because they're about to become such a huge entity, even more so than they are now, who knows what they're gonna do. Maybe they go around and gobble up all the indie stars and just kill the entire business. The whole game is about to change though and it has absolutely nothing to do with the network and everything to do with TV. That's like me telling you email is gonna die and we're gonna go back to sending memos to each other. Memos, no one sends memos anymore. Or carrier pigeons, send carrier pigeons. Imagine you got your weekly dose of the Y series when Bob the pigeon turned up at your house and said, Broo-roo-roo. that is not the noise a bird makes, but it's happened now. There ain't no going back and there ain't no going back maybe for the WWE Network. Now don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about all this. Like, share and subscribe. Head over to whatculture.com and read yourself some articles and follow What Culture on Twitter. More culture WWE. My name is Simon from What Culture. Thank you for watching. Why don't we have a lovely debate about this and see where we end up? No? Just want to argue and send insults to each other? That's cool too! It the internet. So, thanks for watching. Please feel free to click on any of these things around my head or something terrible might happen to the dog. Too sweet me, bro. Traitor. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.